video is on integration using residues. In today's video, we are going to solve a problem using residue theorem. So in this video, we are going to evaluate integral dz by z square into e power z, where c is mod z is equal to 1. Clearly, what is given? So integral f of z into dz is given. So we have to take f of z. So f of z can be written as 1 by this is z square into e power z. So, I am writing this f of z as e power minus z by z square. First of all, we have to find the poles for this given function. For finding the poles, we have to equate the denominator to 0. Here, the denominator z square, if I equate to 0, then z is equal to 0 is a pole of order 2. So, we got a pole of order 2. So, this is a pole z is equal to 0 is a pole of order 2 and therefore first of all we have to find the residues for the given function for finding the residues we have a formula that is see here for finding the residue residue at point z is equal to 0 so residue at z is equal to z naught is nothing but 1 by m minus 1 factorial into limit z tends to z naught this value is d by dz power m minus 1 into this is z minus z naught power m into f of z clear in this our m value is nothing but the order value here so m is equal to 2 and the order value z naught is equal to 0. So, if I substitute, this will be the residue value. The residue value of f of z at point z is equal to 0 is nothing but 1 by m is nothing but 2 minus 1 factorial into this is limit z tends to 0. This value is d by dz power m minus 1. That is 2 minus 1 into this is z minus 0 square into f of z. So, what is our f of z value? f of z value is this one that is e power minus z by this value is z square. See here this will be 2 minus 1 is 1 factorial which is equal to limit z tends to 0. This is d by dz times of z square into e power minus z by this is z square. So, I can cancel these two and make a derivative for one time. So, this value will be limit z tends to 0. This is minus z power minus 1. The derivative for e power minus z is minus z power minus 1. If I keep 0, this will be 0. Anything to the power of 0 is minus 1. So, the residue value of f of z at point z is equal to 0 is nothing. But the residue value is minus 1 for the pole value z is equal to 0. Now, we have to apply residue theorem. So, what is the residue theorem here? The residue theorem is nothing but by residue theorem. By residue theorem, integral f of z into dz is nothing but 2 pi i times of this is sum of the residues at interior poles at interior poles so this will be what is our f of z value so f of z is nothing but the question that is dz by z square into e power z so this value is nothing but dz by z square into e power z is nothing but 2 pi i into the residue value is minus 1 therefore this value is dz by this is z square into e power z value is minus 2 pi i so this is how we have to solve and see and another thing here is this is mod z is equal to 1 so here mod z is equal to 1 means so mod z is equal to 1 means the center 0 and radius 1 so 0 is within the circle so if it is within the circle only we have to find the residue value thank you so much for watching and staying till the end if you really like this video please pass it on to your friends